and a very good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV. It is Tuesday. My name is Ben Mosby and it is an exciting day today here at Crafters TV, which I've already, already referenced on my socials because we have got some amazing shows coming up. I mean, we've already had one amazing show, of course, with uh, Wake Up Call with Craig. Better mention that because otherwise you'll start shouting. Uh, and uh, also today we've got a launch date and a launch party. The Gemini Pro is going to be here in the building. Woo! Yeah! Oh yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! 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 Um, and also, we've got a launch party later on with some dives, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. The jigsaw dives are going to be here, everybody. Yeah! Woo! 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 Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Come on! Yeah! Uh, and also, we are uh, we're, we're, <laughs> we're kicking off the day today with a craft bolt, which is going to feature a whole host of Spectrum Noir products. Get this at deals of. 50% off! Yeah! Woo, woo, Come on! Woo, woo, That's what I'm telling you. Yeah! And we've got a uh, we've got a very special guest. A very spe a very special guest! <laughs> He's gonna be here with me for the next hour. It's Craig! Yeah! <laughs> You're right. Yes, I'm doing good, thank you. Always great to uh, be on with you again. And Craftful, Spectrum Noir, and of course, it's uh, up to 50% off. But do you know something? I think we've got something else that's kind of overshadowing that, Benny. I kind of alluded to it in Wake Up Call this morning. Wake Up Call's kind of entailed within it, but Ben. Well, yeah, from next week, we are launching our new schedule or schedule, depending on where you're from. And it is all very exciting. So here it is on your screen, just here. Uh, the new schedule is as follows. Um, your first show of the day between 12 and 1.30 uh, UK time. So that's between 7 and 8.30 Eastern. Um, and we'll tell you more about that in just a second. We've then got your second show of the day between 3 and 5 UK time, which is 11 and 1 Eastern. And then the third show, 7 till 9 here in the UK, that is 2 till 4 Eastern. Now, these shows here, the 3 till 5 and the 7 till 9, will be all of the shows um, that you know. The shows like your masterclasses, your Monday Makers, your launch parties, all these kind of shows. But what are the shows going to be here? I hear you crying. I know what you're saying straight off. You're saying, hang on a minute, 12 o'clock start. What about the wake up call with Craig? What's happening with that? Craig, what's happening? We're going midday prime Whoa, time. Yep. Absolutely. Oh, hey. And what's absolutely Whoop. so exciting about that is I get a lie in every day. <laughs> I really, really do. <laughs> uh, but no, it is like, so exciting. You know, the show is going from strength to strength every single day. To be honest with you, the initial plan with the shows to start with, there was a six week spell. And I was, you know, I was liking it to go a bit longer. But what we've done is I love it. Laura loves it. Adam loves it. You guys absolutely love it. We have so much fun. So what we're going to do is we're moving me to midday. Still going to be called Wake Up Call, but we're moving me to midday for an hour. So everything you already know and love, we may see Ben and Joe popping in every now and again uh, throughout the shows each day, because they're going to be in the building, but you're still going to have me for a full hour. But what then is going to happen is at 1 p.m. here in the UK, we're going straight into a half hour craft fall. So this will be when we go back to present our and myself. So you're going to have me from 12 p.m. here in the UK for a full hour and a half. First hour is a uh, wake up call and then you're going to have me for that uh, craft fault. Monday to Friday, exactly the same. I cannot wait. But I know that, you know, other times, other shows as well, it's going to be just as exciting. Hugely exciting, because now you're probably thinking, well, hang on a minute, that's Monday to Friday, 12 to half one. But what is happening at the weekend? Well, on Saturday, brand new show called Play Your Craft Right. Play Your Craft Right is going to be here. It's going to be great. It's going to be a show uh, packed full of demos, but also packed full of interactivity, because we are going to be giving you the chance to win prizes we're going to be playing crafty games uh with you on play your crafts right uh between 12 and half one on a saturday so that is going to be amazing and actually get in nice and early on this because we're going to be looking for people to get involved in all of the games to stand the chance of winning prizes so if you if you think to yourself hang on a minute i want to be involved in this i want to win prizes email us now and say look i want to be one of your contestants on play your crafts right studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk is uh, where you need to email uh, just put play your crafts right in the header and send us a little message and we will get you on loads of crafty demos still loads of fun and frolics and loads of games for you to be involved in too so that is saturday's 12 till half one and then 
on Sunday, this is really exciting as well. The softer side of life is moving to Sunday uh, between 12 and half one each Sunday with Bernie because I know a lot of you were saying that you'd actually quite like it um, on a Sunday to have the softer side of life, an hour and a half with Bernie to be able to kind of, you know, sit back, relax, do a bit of stitching, doing a bit of sewing, quilting, whatever it might be. And Sunday just seemed like the right sort of day that everybody wanted to see that show. So that is exactly what we have done. So each and every Sunday between 12 and half one, the softer side of life with Bernie. It's a really exciting lineup. I hope you'll agree. Um, and it's going to be so good. Some new shows in there, all your old favourites as well. And it all starts on Monday. Wow, it's come out so quickly. We're really, really looking forward to it. And I know you are too. Let us know what you think of the uh, the new lineup, by the way. Um, we're really excited. Right, talking about really excited, let's get on with this craft bot because boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, the prices you will not believe if you are a fan of our Spectrum Noir products or you're someone who's always wanted to dip your toe in the water, uh, you know, whatever it is from the Spectrum Noir range, this morning is the morning to get involved because look, try blends, the floral blends, uh, normally £20 or $30, $9.99 this morning or $14.97. It is a half price deal. Again, you know how much we love these products and how much we go on about them. And if, the, if it's always been the price for you thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to give them a try at that price, get them today. Or again, if you're someone who already loves the products, this is a brilliant day to stock up. Those are your floral tri blends at $9.99 or $14.97. You've still got your club inspired discount off that as well. So it comes down even further. Your sparkle liquid inks. Again, these are stunning. Normally $12.99 or $19.95. $6.49 this morning or $9.97. Bonkers price. Prices. That is your uh, perfect pastels. Um, add those into your basket. Do not delay. If you fancy something perhaps with a little bit more of a summertime feel, we've got the summertime collection for you too. Again, half price right across the board. Six forty nine or nine ninety seven is the deal on those. Now. If um, water colouring, aqua blends are your thing, then have a look at this deal. If you saw the wake up call with Craig a little bit earlier on, you'll have already seen these. The 24 piece primary pencils collection is half price, 14.99 or 19.97. Uh, and again, if you've seen these in action previously, you will just know the quality of them and actually all the different things that you can do with them. To get them for that price today is amazing. Don't miss out. Now your art liners, again, if you're into your sketching, if you're into your drawing, your doodling, then these are brilliant too. Normally $16.99 or $22.95, $8.49 or $11.47 on your craft bolt today. This is what we're talking about. Deals that you do not want to miss out on. Get those at half price. That is your bright eight piece collection. Um, if the classiques, are your faves. Take a look at this deal. The Essentials Collection, the six piece Essentials Collection, $4.99. Are you joking me? This is just ridiculous. $4.99 or $7.47. Don't miss out on these deals. I know already before the show, uh, people were jumping in and grabbing these deals. Um, it has gone crazy already today. So please, please, please do not miss out. If it's the color blends you're after, then we've got those on the show too. Uh, the Shade and Tone Collection, 24 piece collection. And again, half price, $12.49 or $17.47. Remember all the prices I'm saying to you here that you're seeing on screen are before your club inspired discount as well. So that price comes down even further for you. If you want to add a bit of sparkle into your life, what about the metallic pencils? The 12 piece collection is $6.49 this morning or $7.47, half price. Don't miss out on these. Honestly, stock up. I cannot believe it. The prices are off the chart, to quote Sarah, who's going to be in a little bit later on. Uh, and the Colour Tint Nature's Collection, again, guess what? Half price, $8.49 or $11.47. Uh, and again, don't miss out. If you've wanted to try those and you've thought to yourself, ah, I don't want to pay full price, today is the day to grab them. We've got the Spectrum Noir Botanicals on a half price deal for you too. Uh, the six piece collection for $6.49 or $8.97. And then uh, the Metallic Markers. Look at the deal on like this. <laughs> the Antique Elements Collection, $5.99 or $8.47 is the deal on that one. 847, uh, unbelievable. And also we chatted about the um, sparkle pens yesterday, of course, we've got the coastal cottage selection of these sparkle pens on the show today. And again, 1249 or 1647, half price right across the board 
on your Spectrum Noir products today. Do not miss out. Whatever it is that takes your fancy, grab it whilst you can. Morning to Laurie, who's in from Ohio. Uh, Kim says, morning from sunny Littlehampton. Kelly's in from Willoughby, Ohio. Lynn says, hi, Ben, Craig, the CTV team, and everyone from Essex. Uh, Sarah Brown says, hello, everyone. That sounds like Mrs. Doubtfire, doesn't it? Hello. Uh, from Melbourne, Australia. How's everyone doing today? We are all good. We're very excited, Sarah. That's all I can say. There's so much going on today here. Uh, Lisa Reed Rickards Air Fryer. Lisa Air Fryer's in from Sarasota, hey! Florida. Yes! Woo! 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 Air Fryer! Air Fryer! Lisa, send us pictures of your air fryer. Yes! Let's start a gallery of air fryers. Brilliant. Uh, Rihanna says, hi everyone from Australia. Uh, Gilmore says, morning, Craig, Ben and everyone. Uh, me, Sievers on YouTube saying, thank goodness. I love Wake Up Call. Yes, Wake Up Call is still here as of next week. You just get a bit of a line. Uh, and Gilmore says, going to love sewing Sundays. Yes, each and every Sunday uh, between 12 and half one. Let us know what you think of the new schedule. Get in touch with us on Facebook and on YouTube. And yes, if you do want to send us pictures as well, you can do. If you want to send us pictures of your air fryer, you can. Um, it is studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. I feel like we've got lots to rattle through on this um, show, so let's get cracking because we're already uh, 12 minutes in. Um, and also, this is a good example and a, a good, um, I think, excuse to actually have a look at some of these products and kind of take you through them all as well. Because if you're looking at these going, hang on a minute, do I need the, uh, the illustrators? Do I need the aqua pens? Do I need the spark pens? Which ones do I need? Um, we can cover all of that off during the show. Uh, the um, illustrators, though, the landscape collection that you're going to get here is gorgeous. 12.49 or um, 12.47. This is proving very, very busy indeed already. Um, these are all of the gorgeous colours that you are going to get with this collection from your light yellow to your uh, green olive you've got your chartreuse and your meadow your bamboo and your camo green your forest green sky blue caramel oak tree your gray uh, green let's get this right green gray two and your green gray five all of those included for 12.49 or 24.47 but let's talk about the illustrators craig because we've got so many deals on so many different pens and pencils on these shows um tell us about the illustrators why might we want to go for these today so when it comes to the illustrators, if we just have a look straight away first. So we've got two ends that you would find with many of our colour mediums at Crafters Companion. But we've got our finer nib at one end. But on the other side, what we've got is an unbelievably flexible nib. So what we're going to do, brush nib, so we can see how flexible that that is from up above. The nib is actually, I know actually in a moment, I'm ready to show you again, close up. And then you'll see. Oh yeah. So you can see from up above. Look how flexible that nib is. And then we've got the awesome George on day. So let's see if we can come close up as well in the other view. And then you will see. So you can see how flexible. Oh, that super nib flexible. Is. Super flexible. Like now, me. when it comes to your illustrators, what these are specifically good for. Now you can still do your blending, your shading, all of that because it's alcohol based. But what you can do with these ones here, I do have an image just stamped out. But when it comes to your illustrators, these are absolutely perfect for doing things like your fur, your hair, anything where you've got some movement, so you're able to get all of that movement effect, you know, whether it's obviously the, the, the grass or foliage yeah. or the forest, anything like that. But what we're going to do, now I've purposely, Ben, we talked about it before the show, is I've taken one of my current favourite stamps, which is from the Nitwick collection. And a lot of the demos throughout the show are going to be focused on that stamp, simply because I want to, well, we're using the stamp, but we're focusing on the colour me uh, mediums. So let's show you, if we go uh, still with the illustrator, and I'm going to bring three of the greens. So we'll go for the uh, Cameo, Chartreuse, and Bamboo. So what we can then do is we can start with the lightest one. So let's go in with the lightest. And then what we can then start to do, so if you still want to use them as kind of like the uh, blending medium, what I'm going to do is let's go in with, so that is the lightest one that I'm going to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to just colour that in just with the lightest one, like I would usually do. Um, Gilmore says, are the illustrator nibs similar to the tri-blend brush marker nibs? Try blend Br That is a very good question, actually, oh, Ben. We've got him! We've caught him out! 
That, um, that is a very good question that one that I'm not sure of, actually. Wow, stumped him already, 15 minutes in. We'll, yeah. we'll, look, we'll look into you, Gilmore. Congratulations. That is the question of the day. You've beaten Craig. Well done. <laughs> Maybe that could be a new game for Play Your Crafts right on a Saturday. Beat Craig. <laughs> but it was, oh, who, oh, it was uh, Ant and Dec, wasn't it? Challenge Ant. When they had to try oh, and, yeah. That was, yeah, that Challenge was, Ant. You could do that one, eh? Challenge Craig. Challenge yeah. Challenge Stump Me. Up for that. Well done, Gilmore. You caught him out. We'll, um, we'll look into that, though, for you. Absolutely. I know there's a lot of love for these illustrator markers because Sarah says she absolutely loves them. Absolutely. Um, so good because you've got that flexible nib what we can then do you know in my amazing colouring where I've gone out the line but as you can see <laughs> see how you can still get that blending consistency yeah so you can still get your two colours into each other so once again let's go in with the light so I'm still using them as if I would use my classics and my tri blends and that is where I'm laying down with the lightest first and then what we can then do is go in with the depth so I'm going to add that bit of depth to it and then we're going to go in with the mid-tone and then we're just blending that one out. So once again, we're not going straight over the depthness and the deep of the uh, green that I've used. We're just catching the edge and no more. And then what we can then do is we can then go back in with the lightest and we can blend the two out. And then we can just blend that in. Alcohol base, so it's going to evaporate, it's going to blend into each other. So you'll be able to see just there how it starts to work into each other. Yeah. We'll leave it a few moments or two. And then what we could then do is let's show you. So here's a few that's been done with the illustrator. So on this one here, what to do is have a look at the hair. Kidding so it's all me. been look done with the illustrator. Yeah but this is just phenomenal to show you the wave that you're getting from the hair for the far, you know, it could be the branches, it could be the grass, that's all done. And that's because of that flexibility within that nib you can see here. Ha! Huh. Look at that one. Isn't that incredible? Again, want to stipulate that that is the illustrators because that's a perfect one. You've got the, the leaves, you've got the, the bark on the tree, you've got kind of like that straw, that thatched cottage roof that you've got there. You've got the flowers and that. You've got all of these ones. Oh, wow. One here. So all done with the illustrators. So when it comes to the illustrators, you know, like we say with many of our shows, specifically Colour Me Happy, go back onto obviously our website or of course YouTube, watch past shows with Sarah. And I would actually say if you can't find the ones with Leanne, the Spectrum Arts Leanne's Baby and absolutely her shows with the illustrators are the ones that you need to watch and follow because that's what I do. That is the uh, landscape collection that you can get for half price today and that is a great illustration of the illustrators, isn't it? And those, those actual pictures there did look like illustrations straight out of like a, a child's story, but didn't they? Absolutely amazing. And that's the kind of thing that you can achieve. Half price today on the illustrators, 12.49 or 24.47. Uh, Gilmore saying, got Craig stumped, yay. And Judy saying, new game, stump the Scotsman. Um, I quite like the sounds of that one. Stump the Scotsman, coming soon uh, to play your craft right um, on a Saturday. Uh, now, the Aqua Blend Primaries, if you saw Wake Up Cold a little bit earlier on, we had a good look at these, so you can spin back and see the show with uh, Craig uh, this morning. You can watch it back on uh, YouTube, on Facebook, on our website. 14 99 half price on these, or 19 97 uh, these are gorgeous and actually uh, the fact that these again are sort of um, uh, reactive to water you've got all of those different techniques that you can do with these so again if you're looking to be able to kind of get into watercolour these are absolutely stunning and you can see don't tip them all up Ben all of the gorgeous colours uh, that you are going to be able to be working with um, if you go for these today 14.99 or 19.97 is the deal is the deal um, on those. As I say, if you want to see a demo on those, um, scroll back to um, Wake Up Call this morning with Craig a little bit earlier on. Right, next up, the tri blends. All right, we've got on the show, I'll nick these ones. Uh, the floral blends. Uh, you know how much we love the tri blends here. You know, you talk about being able to get a perfect blend each and every time when you start coloring. These are perfect because you've got three 
well, three hues, I suppose, within each pen. So you've got the ultimate blendability. Your florals bring you your, uh, your bright pinks, your lavender blend, your purple, your citrus, your orange, and also your dark red. And as you can see on the illustration there, you've got three pens within one. So you've got your light, you've got your uh, dark, and then you've got your medium. So we always, always say that this is a perfect way for you, you know, if you want to get into blending and to be able to do it professionally from the off, the tri-blends are a brilliant, brilliant pen set to go for, particularly today because you can pick them up at half price, $9.99 or $14.97 is the deal on those. And let's see how easy they are to, <laughs> how easy they are to use with Craig. No, he wasn't just picking up his drink to have a quick swig. No, he wasn't at all. What are you talking about? Uh, oh, he's going to do it anyway. You know. He's going to do it anyway. I may as well do it. You know, as uh, Ben just uh, threw me under the bus there. Yep, sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay, no problem. It's all fun. It's all yesterday, fun. yesterday when I went to do that, uh, Jam was putting her lippy on. Oh, so, uh, Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I'd already done mine um, while she was talking. So, yeah, I just, yeah, crack on. Crack on, mate. It's fine. It's the fine. things that we do in between all these little bits as well when uh, <laughs> Joe or Ben are speaking. It's amazing. It's amazing. But let's have a look at the tri-blends. Absolutely adore the tri-blends when it comes to our colour and medium and our alcohol base. But very quickly, I know Ben went over uh, a few of the, uh, the key points with the tri-blends. With these ones here, so it's the same idea as your classics, but with your classic pens, they're all separate pens, individual pens. With the tri-blends, for instance, let's take this one, which happens to be the dark red blend. So we've got the red. So within a classic, you would have your light red, you'd have your medium red, you'd have your dark red. Three separate pens. Try blends, you've got the dark side on one side. I know, I always think that as well. The dark side. It makes me laugh. Carry on, Craig. Dark side. I can't say it without thinking that. <laughs> so we've got the dark side on one side, we've got the light tone on the other side, and then within the middle, we've got the mid-tone. So then therefore now, not only are we saving on cost, but we're saving on space as well. Because instead of three separate tones or three separate pens, it's all in the one. Now, just to say as well, that's not eliminating your classic pens because your classic pens, you've got oodles and oodles and oodles of different shades that you're able to use. You can then, of course, use your um, hints of. So maybe you got them last week, which was part of the uh, Get It Got It Good last week. So you can build upon your classics and it opens up the worlds of different shades that you can use. Certainly as a beginner, maybe as a gift, go with the tribe blends. It's always a good start. So what I've done, because it's alcohol based, I've stamped out onto it our Nina cardstock and I've used our alcohol based ink pad. So what we can then do is we can then go in with the lighter tone first. So if we go, let's start on this rose here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm trying to look, let's go on a deeper, uh, wider one petal that is. So there we go. All that I'm doing to start with is I'm laying down that lighter tone and I'm going down with the lightest one first and it's kind of priming your cardstock. It's giving it a bit of a base for you to build your colour upon and then what you'll do as well, pop a bit of cardstock underneath. It doesn't need to be a good cardstock, inexpensive if you want. That's going to catch any bleeding, which will happen. And then as I like to think as well, the cardstock underneath kind of catches it and just helps it, you know, retain within the uh, top layer. Yeah. So then what I'm going to do is now that I've done my uh, lightest tone, this is when we can start to build the color. So we can then go in with the depth of the deep tone of the red, always in circular motions and that will help you get a nice smooth uh, layer. And if you start to hear the squeaking noise, that's good. You do want to hear that. That works well. Knows that you're getting the colour laid down. Oh, well, let's, hear, let's hear the squeaking noise. Squeaking noise. So we'll do that again. Um, but what we're doing at this moment is we've gone into the mid-tone and we're just crossing over just where that deep tone is. And let's see if we can hear the squeak. Oh yeah. So that's good. Okay. That's, that's a good sound. You know that you're laying down that colour. And then we're just going to go over, just blending out that dark tone in with the light tone or the mid tone. And then what we can do is we can finish off again into this little white area, just where the mid tone ends. And then what will happen, even already from up above, it'll still take a moment or two for the alcohol to evaporate, but then that's going to start with your dark in with the flower and then it's getting lighter and lighter as it comes towards the end of the petal. 
And then what we can do is I don't have my green one in this one. So let's go for, let's just do a yellow just to show you the idea. So what we can do is actually let's do, let's just do a purple one so that we can show you. So this one's the lavender, same concept. So what we're going to do when it comes to the leaves, I'm going to color this in with the lightest tone, layering it down. So we're just going to pop that down. I'm going to come about two thirds of the way. Always, always, always go onto Facebook, have a look at our Spectrum Noir Facebook page. The girls on the design team do incredible things. But you can keep it simple or as you get more experienced, start to work your shading in with kind of like the veins that are in with the petals, yeah. or the leaves or whatever you're colouring. So we can lay that down with the dark tone now. We can then go into the mid-tone, just crossing over where that dark tone ends, blending that one out, here in the squeak, and we're going to finish that bit off. And then what we can do is come along with the lightest tone again and just blend that one out. And Beautiful. And be able to see how this starts to blend into each other. And again, it continues to uh, evaporate over a few moments, but once again, from up above, see how you've got that depth within the bit. I'm going to move my hand so the shadow doesn't cover it. It's brilliant. You've got the darkness right into the base of that uh, leaf, and then you start to see you've got the, the dark, the mid, and then the light as well. So good if you are starting for yourself or maybe a little gift in that as well. Really good. And at the moment, as I'll say at the moment, as always, colouring is such a therapeutic thing to do great start when it comes to your tri-blend alcohol colouring. It's really true, isn't it? Colouring is such a mindful thing to do, uh, particularly during these times as well. Great for the old mental health. So take advantage of these deals today. Lynn Harvey on Facebook, I mean, says it the best, really. We need everything. They're all great products and all these fab deals. It's worth getting them if you can. I mean, seriously, take advantage of them. It's very rare that we do these kind of half price deals on Spectrum Noir goodies. So get them whilst you can. We're really busy this morning as well. Let me just tell you. So snaffle up the deal that it is that you want. Um, on the front of the um, nibs, by the way, I uh, just had a little note that the, the uh, nibs of the uh, illustrated nibs, premium quality Japanese brush nibs, uh, they work in the same way as the, um, the tri blend brush brushes. Um, so that is good to know. And also Stacy on Facebook saying, uh, Ben, how many illustrators are there? Well, I think you'll find there are 216, including the blender. No, it does not say that on my iPad. What are you talking about? I knew, I knew. Says it, says it there. I did actually read it. I did actually read it on the back of the packet as well, you know. But listen, um, thank you as well. Who was it who put uh, Bettina? Who said hello, everybody? And Ben, you look slightly better than you did on your post earlier. Thanks very much for that, Bettina. They're such kind words from you. I'm having a bad hair day, as you can probably tell. Bad hair day, but good Crafters TV day. When you see deals like this, whoop, whoop, says producer Laura, uh, we have got the um, botanicals from the aqua pens um, from Spectrum Noir. So again, a really good starter if you're wanting to do kind of water-based techniques. What always makes me laugh, what well, doesn't make me laugh, but when, you, um, when we see these pens in action, more often than not, See our crafters just like popping them onto like the, um, the glass mat, for example, and then using them off the palette to do like um, palette blending. Um, you know, you look at these as pens and obviously you can use them as such, but there's so many different techniques that you can um, do with these. Super handy. The botanicals uh, comes with your uh, daffodil, you've got your fern, you've got your uh, verdant green, you've got your rose red, your fuchsia, and also your tulip. So your six colors there for $6.49. These are half price once again, or $8.97 if you're shopping with us in the US. So if it's watercolour techniques that you want to get into, this is a great starter pack. And let's be honest with this, you're not breaking the bank. If you've only got, I don't know, $10, 10 pounds to spend today, you're not breaking the bank. These are a definite to um, have a look at and go for uh, are your aqua uh, botanicals. So have a look at those. I think we're going to have a look at those with uh, Mr. Craig a little bit later on. Next up, first up, what are we doing now? Oh, the colour blends. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't have them, I know, but thrown, yeah. I think Laura must have literally said that to me about three times, but I was so in the moment with my aquas uh, that I wasn't listening. So yes, seamlessly into the colour blend pencils. So tell us, Craig, how these are different to what we've already seen um, on the show so far. 
Well, they, you know, straight away, these are the pencils. I know we showed you the uh, Upland pencils in Wake Up Call this morning, but with these ones here, so these are our wax base. So these are wax base. You can be using them on their own. You can layer up the color, so uh, color on top of color, build that up, so then therefore, again, you're getting the shading, you're getting the depth, the dimension. But then what you can actually do is you can work it on top of your alcohol-based colouring. So before I actually we'll show you more of the pencils, let's show you what I mean. So here's a finished sample. This has just been coloured using the uh, Aqua Colour pencil, sorry, Aqua Blend pencils. Yep. With this one here. So this is just your pencil nice. on its own. On a darker coloured cardstock, but you can see how you're getting all that wave within our hair as well as the floral. But then, this one, this is a combination of our alcohol pens and also the pencils on top. So you can then take your colour in more and more further uh, uh, advanced when it comes to your pencils. So you can then pop them on top of your alcohol colours that you can see here. Another one again. So initially being coloured with our alcohol pens, Ben, but then we've gone over top with the uh, colour blend pencils. Yeah, brilliant. Just to add that accent. And then once again, another one here pens and then it's been used as an accent with your pencils but as I say as I showed you that first one you know you can't you can and will use them as a standalone coloring medium and it's just about blending the colors on top of each other so let's go and let's have a look let's bring in let's go for I'm going to go for a light blue actually do you know what no we won't let's use just the one blue and I'll show you how you can build up the color and like Ken and Ben, we say, you know, always do, you know, do little and then you can add on top. But if you do too much, you can't take it away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start to blend. Well, not blend, just yet. I'm going to start to lay down the colour. Yeah. And I'm putting that light tone down first. So we're just going to work our way into place here. So I'm going to cover this full image all the way over the top. You know, if you wanted to get into sort of blending your colours, was it easier to do with pencils or pens? Or so, is it just personal preference? Personally, for me, I feel uh, more, e I find it easier to do your blends with your, anything like your colour blend pencil, uh, aqua blend pencils, your aqua pens, anything water based, because I just find it's easier to pull out the colour, yeah. get more depth of your colour. It's one that I personally feel is you don't need uh, a lot of practice to, um, but some people do find it easier to do blending with your alcohol colours. So it is one of those personal preference, However, I would say, you know, if you're wanting to get that confidence level built up in you, then doing it with your, you know, your uh, aqua pens or aqua pencils, anything that's water-based, just gives you that bit more confidence because then you can then draw out the colour using your water brush or paintbrush with water. So, you know, give either one a shot. But if you are unsure, never tried any of them, I would say something like our aqua pens or aqua pencils. But what I'm doing now is I've gone over now with a deeper blue so i'm going to lay these ones over the top so we're just going to start in with the base because it's wax based it means then we're going to get that nice coverage that nice uh, smooth coverage and then what i'm even going to do is i'm going to go back in with that lighter blue that i've done and i'm going to just blend the two out so just crossing over where it ended so you can see into here and then even if I wanted to, I can then go back in again into the base and I can just lay a bit more of the heavy blue down. You can see here. And then I'm going just light-handed, blending them two out. Now Brilliant. Can you see now, yeah. so once again, very similar to the other ones that we've done, but you can see on this one being the colour blend pencils, we're now getting that depth, that shade. And I've only used two colours. You could just use one if you want. Just keep it very light and build and build and build. Use two colours, use three, use four. But you know, you just do it lightly and then just build up the colours when it comes to the pencils. Use them as standalone as I alluded to just not that long ago. Or if you do like your uh, alcohol-based colouring, add that little bit of an accent. So can you imagine the tri-blends? You've done the three layers and then come along with maybe one of the depth, for instance. Maybe come along with the carnation on top of a red. It's really going to make your image stand out. So great ones, really good one to play with. Um, brilliant. I mean, we are so busy. I'm not, I'm not surprised to learn how busy we are this morning because these deals are phenomenal. Do you want another round of Stump the Scotsman?
Yeah, go for it. I mean, this is a goodie. Craig says, Sarah, are the numbers on the tri-blend markers the same as the numbers on the illustrator markers? Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. So the exact same uh, tubs, tubs, tubes, the refill ink for your classics are exactly the same. Um, not that the tri-blends are refillable, but it's just to let you know that the inks are exactly the same. So yes, they are. Brilliant. Well, I we didn't stump him there, did we not? Um, Stacey says, thank you, Ben. What will I do without you in reference to me knowing something? It's only because it was written down, Stacey, but you were welcome. Um, and um, Christine just saying, uh, good morning from Altoona, Pennsylvania. Can you post again the new schedule? Christine, do not worry on that front. We will be chatting about the new schedule uh, right throughout the day today and posting it up frequently for you so you will know it off pat off by heart by the end of the day but basically wake up call uh, starts 12 o'clock uk time uh, from next week from monday 12 through until 1 30 and then all the shows that you know and love will be between uh, three and five and then seven and nine uk time uh, at the weekends we're bringing you play your crafts right at uh, 12 whoop, whoop, and then the softer side of life from 12 but we'll post it all up again for you um, in just a little while keep your eyes peeled and get ready to note it down right um, let's show you some of the other goodies that we've got on the show. Your perfect pastels in your um, sparkle liquid ink. These are just absolutely brilliant. Half price, $6.49 or $9.97. So if you're wanting to add a bit of sparkle to your projects, these are absolutely perfect. And actually, as we've seen over the course, I think of the last few weeks, particularly with these, perfect for kind of... Um, you know, blending your backgrounds. If you want to create some really stunning background pieces, these are perfect. Um, because with these pots, you're going to get 30 mil of ink within each one, and they really do go a long, long way. Uh, once again, if you've been thinking, shall I, shan't I, do I want to pay 12 dollars or 19 95 you don't have to today. $6.49 or $9.97. It's try me prices right across the board. So for people who haven't, you can get them today and try them. For people who have, you're probably doing cartwheels all around around your living room because you're thinking, well, I paid full price last time. I'm going to grab these now while they're on a half price deal. Um, so those are your perfect pastels. We've also got summertime when the crafting is easy. Uh, summertime. Um, again, in your um, sparkles and take a look at that. Oh, sorry, just your aquas. Yes, sorry, my bad. Um, yes, your aquas. Uh, you're going to get your solar red, your emerald green, and your blue topaz um, in your Spectra Noir aqua tint liquid. So again, um, you know, you get more for your money here because you've got 30 mil within each of the pots and you've got these glorious colours too. So if you're looking to kind of get some colours into your uh, crafty life, which kind of replicate where we're going as far as uh, spring and summertime is concerned, that is absolutely Perfect. Six forty nine, nine ninety seven. Uh, again, half price deals right across the board on those two. Things are flying out the door because, as I said, we don't normally do half price deals on Spectrum Noir goodies. They they come around once in a blue moon, so don't miss out. Um, Pam, Pam on uh, PPE, Pam on Facebook. Hi, Craig and Ben. I've just ordered the Pro. Yes, come on. Well done, Pam. Um, I said to the husband. Well, I've taken the plunge and I've ordered it. I walk back upstairs to my craft room and lo and behold, ding dong, the doorbell. My yodel lady arrived with a parcel. Husband said, blimey, I know you say CC is great, but that was super quick. Five minutes after ordering, your parcel is here. <laughs> Love that, Pam. Yes, that is the kind of service we offer here at Crafters Companion. I mean, if, I mean, no, I mean, it's obviously not the same, but we're good. We're not that good. Uh, Pam, enjoy whatever is in your parcel today and enjoy your pro when that arrives. Amazing. Um, Alison on YouTube saying, uh, got home to find my uh, Shih Tzu stamp had been delivered. Well, that's all good. Whoop, whoop. Uh, and Sarah on Facebook says, thank you, Craig, for answering my question and Ben for Thank you for asking it. Well, you are more than welcome, Sarah. Thank you for being so polite. But that is what we are here for, uh, for the fun and the banter, but also uh, smatterings of education as well. Right, let's have a look at these. Now, the sparkles, the Coastal Cottage sparkle pens are awesome. We love these a lot. Uh, if you're wanting to add sparkle into your life, then you need to go for these. So in your Coastal Cottage collection here, uh, you have got your um, peach, you've also got your sea spray, you've got your magnolia, you've got your cornflower blue, 
you've got your uh, pistachio and you've got your linen included in there as well. Flexible brush nib on these, so it's nice and easy for you to apply. And of course, the great thing is, whether, do you know what? At this sort of price, you might just buy these because you want to um, do a bit of writing on them on, on your cards or on your projects. But actually, they're so, so super versatile as well. And the fact that you get such beautiful sparkle with these is amazing. Normally $24.99 or $32.95, they are $12.49 or $16.47 today, half price deals uber excited about this we're supposedly i think bringing this craft bot back a little bit later on but i would imagine by the point that happens um things will disappear and producer laura just tells me that this particular collection here because the sparkles are always popular this is going to be the first one of the products to go so get it whilst you can because let me just tell you it may be early in parts of the world right now where people are watching us but people are up and people are shopping till they are dropping right let us have a little um, look-see at these definitely worth popping them into your basket um show us some sparkle craig sparkle and shine over there for me please i will do indeed so let's make sure you in a moment how you can create a background what i'll do as well is let's go back to a stamp image and show you how you can absolutely color with these ones as well now because they're water based so you can use them as standalone and then you can draw the color out so you can get your shading and blending like you would normally do mix the colours together, you know, use it as a palette onto your glass mat and then create your own colours, not just obviously the six that you've got. But what we can then do is watercolour card and our uh, waterproof dye ink pad. So let's go in with, into, let's just do the leaves again. So we can then either go direct and we can just pull and add that colour all the way down and then you're going to get an intense sparkle yeah. once this is dry. Did, were you giving that a little shake before you started? I did, yeah. So just before you came across to me, I'm not sure if you heard it, I was just giving them uh, a little bit of a shake, ball bearing in there, and then you're just uh, kind of getting all of that uh, sparkle just to really start flowing around the pen, and it's just going to look incredible when it comes to your stamped image. But then what we can then also do is if we go into another one, and then what I'm going to do, Ben, is I'm going to pull the colour and then I'm going to leave it round about there. Now you could bring in your uh, water brush or a paintbrush just with some water and then what I'm going to do is just dab that one in and then I can start to pull all that colour out. Oh yeah. So we can start to pull that colour so we can then start to do our own blending, do our own shading that you can see here. So really going in and pulling it in. Or then what you or and what you can then do, you know, or an and or and or an and and an or. Let's lay this one down. Let that happens to be the cornflower blue. Let's bring in the sea spray, and then what we can then do is we can. I'm just giving that a little press at the side just to pull the ink forward and bring it into the chamber. So we can then put them onto our glass mat, or if you've got our. Uh, craft mat, Spectrum Noir craft mat, you can use that. And then what we can do is we can start to change the depth of the colour. Now I've used uh, two shades of blue, but you could be bringing in a variety of different colours and then we can change them. And then what we can then do is then start to watercolour with them. So it's very portable as well. So if you do like to go out onto the road and start to do colouring, then you can do Obviously, not literally standing on the road. I meant if you're going travelling, when you're on the road, you can uh, do some watercolour in. Hey, might be able to go travelling again soon as well. I know. Oh, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. We're all a bit excited here in the UK after yesterday's announcements. I mean, it's all, it's all kind of dependent on a lot of things, but yes. the end is in sight, isn't it? It is indeed. Isn't it, eh? You know what I was, I was saying to uh, produce a lot of this morning, Ben, yeah. was last year, on the 21st of June is the day I came out of my 12 weeks shielding. Yeah, all right. This year, all going well, rules and all that will uh, change dramatically. 21st of June is my birthday. Was it not the, was the 21st of June not your birthday last year? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was as well. Yeah, I, did you know <laughs> my birthday is the 21st of June every year? You are joking me. Nope. You are kidding nope. me. What are the chances? Was so it the last... 21st of June when you were born? Uh, no, 22nd. Oh, I thought so. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I was uh, able to celebrate last year coming out of Shield Inn on my birthday, double celebration. And yeah. then this year, all going well, yeah. double celebration as well. Still obviously being careful and moderation oh, yeah. and that, but you know, you know yeah. still. Celebrate Ce responsibly. Celebration. You, you're now going to tell us that this year on the 21st of June, you've got like a big a big birthday coming up. I don't know. Oh, you don't? A couple of, couple of years away yet. Oh, is a it? Big birthday. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's actually scary. I think my next big birthday is forty. Wow, D been there, done that, mate. Been there, yeah, done that. Scary, seriously, scary, scary. But yeah, twenty first of June. I mean, we are hopefully going to be uh, going to be celebrating. Uh, <laughs> a minute ago, I said the twenty first of June. Oh, producer Laura was saying I mean, in my ear was pop, pop, pop. Yep. I am definitely going to be supporting the pubs a lot more come then, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. Supp support your local. That's what we're going to be doing, isn't it? We're not going to be going out celebrating the pubs. We're going to be going out supporting local because of after everything that, you know, all the lockdown and stuff, they, they need our help, Craig. And you and I, you and I and Laura as well, willing to, willing to do our bit. They do, absolutely. Support the local pubs. Yeah. <laughs> so what I've done here is I've done a bit of a colour wash on the back. So I've laid that water down onto a watercolour card. And then, as I say, lay the, the water down, give it a bit of a coat in. And then what I've done is I've gone over with the two blues and then I've pulled them in. Now what I would do is leave that to dry. And what will happen, Ben, is you will not lose any of that sparkle. Even though we've added water, you're not going to lose it. It's going to look absolutely incredible. So then, that could be a backdrop for your cards or your projects. Why not die cut with it? Why not emboss with it? Then bringing in maybe your letterpress uh, techniques with your inks. Maybe then you just want to do gilding waxes, anything like that that you can do on top. So think about all these backdrops and backgrounds you can now create with your sparkle pens. Just phenomenal. Um, loads of lovely comments still coming in. Do you know what? I think a lot of people are just sort of waking up and going, the prices here are redonkulous. Absolutely stupid. Kerry's going, the pricing is so low today that I've purchased four extra sets of markers for my friend who I'm teaching to make cards. That's oh. the other thing today, isn't it, right? Is that, you know, um, it's not been easy, I think, for a lot of people, particularly, you know, uh, with work and maybe not having as much money as you would normally have. But today, the prices are so low um, it may well be that you decide to yourself do you know what i'm going to buy a few little mm -hmm. bits and pieces for a crafty friend or a crafty family member um, a lovely day to be able to buy something for them without breaking the bank and if you um, have got someone in your family who is into their um their sketching their drawing their doodling then maybe these uh, art liners might be the deal that you want to go for today again these are on a half price deal for you too normally 16.99 or 22.99 uh, uh 95 the 849 or 1147 so you've got your um eight different bright colors in here perfect if you're into your doodling yeah if you love your zentangle as well these are absolutely perfect but if you just want to buy these to kind of uh you know do sort of little outlines they're absolutely perfect for that um, and as I say, a great gift. Maybe you've got, um, you know, children who um, are getting into their art. Maybe this is the kind of thing that would be absolutely perfect for them to go in their sort of pencil case at, you know, at school for all of their art classes. Again, I know the sort of prices that you might pay for quality products like this. Today, just $8.49 if you want to bag those. eleven forty-seven dollars um, on a half price deal. Um, they are gorgeous right also on the show we have got the uh classics the six piece essentials you're right six <laughs> six piece essentials blend. what was that noise <laughs> it's like an ice cream van or something yeah. going past i was about to start car. running out of the building then ice cream uh, we've got the six piece essentials blend on the classics now i don't think i've got these over this side of the studio so i'm going to chuck you over to craig who i think does have them uh, $4.99 or $7.47. Again, who knew that you could pick up Spectrum Noir products at this sort of price? Normally a tenner or $14.95. $4.99 or $7.47. And here's the other thing as well. Don't forget, another 20% comes off that. So that is, 50, that's $3.99 then, isn't it? If you are a, um, a, a, a platinum member over here, which is just bonkers, or uh, seven pound fifty, about six dollars, just under six dollars, amazing. Let's have a look at them. Um, tell us about the uh, the classics, then, Craig. So the classics, is, you know, we kind of touched upon them earlier on when it comes to the tri blends. So what the classics do is you've got your shades within these ones. So these ones is your essentials. 
So as you can see, the essential blend where you've got your greys, you've got some of your lighter muted browns. You've also got a blender within these ones here. So what's going to happen is exactly the same as what we've done with the tri-blend pens, but instead of with the tri-blend pens being the three shades in the one pen, with the classic pens, is they're all individual. So then what that does is that opens up. So if you're more advanced, if you are uh, looking to progress, then the classics open up in the fact of you can build and build and build upon your colours and your shading. So what, let's bring in a piece of card stock, just so we can show you once again. So I tell you what, let's even, let's just use one that was started earlier on. And let's go in with, I'm actually going to go in with two of the brown, yeah. So I'm going to use the two. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend with two, Ben. So you're going to get a really good effect and a really good look if you do them the traditional, traditional? The, uh, the normal way that we would suggest with your three colour tones. But what we can do is, let's show you as well, you know, you can still do it with just maybe the two. But then this says, as it says, it's essential. So think about when you're colouring in anything that is, you know, like your woodland theme. Maybe you've got your woodland theme, woodland friends collection. Maybe you want to colour in with them ones. Maybe you've got uh, foliage that you want to do. Really nice just to have within your set. But within this one here, what I've done is I used the muted brown MB1 and then we're using MB3. So I'm actually skipping straight to the third one, not the second. So laying down the colour, exactly the same like the tri-blends. You've got your bullet nib, which is I'm using here. And this is the nib that Ben, I use oh, most of the time. Do you? Most of the time. You do have your chisel nib if you're doing colouring over a larger area. Very rarely do I actually use the chisel nib. But going back into that tone that we first used, and I'm just blending that one out. So let's so, just finish So if you were going on like a bit of a pen journey then, would you go like tri-blends to classics pretty much? Would yes. you're more confident with your tri-blends, you'd then move on to the classics, is that right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong, if you want to jump straight to the, the classics, then you can do. But if you're looking to start off and then work upon it, work on your journey, progress with it, start with the tri-blend pens. That's going to give you that confidence, but not you're not having to invest in that full range. Even if you've never tried uh, the, the tri-blends, then obviously we've got the tri-blends on the show that you could start with. Or maybe you just want to give the classics a bit of a go. Then you've got the essentials that you could be using. What you've even got within this one here, is probably my most used one, and that's IG2, Ice Grey 2. Whenever you see me do stamping, stamped images, once I've coloured them, I go round them with a grey. So what I do, and it's Ice Grey 2 that I use, what I would then do is once I've coloured it, I would go in with the Ice Grey 2, and I would work my way round, and then what will happen is it will uh, evaporate with it being alcohol-based, so then that's just going to go a little bit fainter. But what it does is it just makes your image just stand out that little bit more. Just by adding that grey, gives it that shadow, gives it that backdrop. But all the classics are all refillable. Yeah. And I have done a video on my Instagram as well as I've done a, a little bit of a tutorial on one of the past wake up call shows where I showed you how you can actually refill your uh, classic pens. Both sides of the nibs as well, they're changeable, you know, so you can get replacements for them as well. Nice little starter for certainly if you like to do all your woodland, that sort of nature theme as well. Such a great one, but an even nice one just to have within uh, your uh, crafty stash. Amazing stuff. Um, lots of love coming in for producer Laura today. Um, yeah, I think it's because because of your pub, 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 pub. I think that's what it is generally. And I'm a bit worried here as well because none of the gang have noticed this unless they have noticed it and not told me. But um, Jean Marie on Facebook has just said, am I the only one in hoots over Ben's slip of the tongue? What did I say? What did you say? I don't, well, you, oh, I, d I don't know. I don't know what I said. I don't know. I'm a bit worried now. Jean, Marie, you have to tell me what I said, yeah. what you're laughing about. I don't know what I said. I don't know what I'm saying half the time. So if I've had a slip of the tongue, nobody here's noticed it. I don't think. No, Greg definitely, Laura hasn't. Oh, well, okay. Well, let me know. What did I say? What did I say? I'm worried now, I'm really worried. Um, anyway, let's have a quick look at these because I am uh, aware that we are rapidly running out of time. Um, your metallic markers, the antique elements, uh, are available on a redonkulous deal. $5.99 or $8.47 for these. Absolutely gorgeous. The colours that you are going to get within this collection, you can see just 
Hyar, uh, you've got in here your um, antique pearl, your vintage satin, your tarnished silver, just giving that a wiggle for you there, rose gold, aged copper, and your ancient bronze as well with these. So once again, if you're wanting to add that sort of metallic element to your makes, you can do. Um, obviously, these look brilliant on your darker colored cardstock. As you can see here, this is really where they come into their own. And again, what a deal, $5.99 or $8.47 right now. Um, uh, for those and of course you can get another 20% off if you are a platinum member once again um, the fact with these of course um, is that you've got so much scope with them once again um, let's have a quick look at them with Craig because we've literally got about five minutes remaining um, what are you going to show us? So I'm actually going to show you two quick things. Straight away you think of metallic markers, other brands out there, and uh, there's very little you can do with them. Other just go in with a base of colour. So let's show you, let's take the red one, and the actual name for this one being Vintage Satin. So you've got a fine nib on one side, and then you've got a brush nib on the other. So once again, very much similar to the Classics, in fact, I usually only use one side the most, and that's the brush side. So what I'm then going to do is just show you. So this is the vintage satin onto black card. And Ooh. these ones work absolutely perfectly best on darker card stock. Yeah. Not to say that you can't use them on white, because you absolutely can. And I'm going to show you that in a moment. But then what we can then do is we can then go in with the silver. Now, I know obviously it's not the great to see from up above within the black. But then if I start to oh, yeah. tilt that, you can see how you've got the silver coming through. But like I, uh, I said a moment ago, many of your other brands out there that do metallics, there's only very little you could do. Colour in an image and that's it. But look at our one. So if I go into my glass mat, or even your craft mat, let's bring in another one here. So watercolour card. Now this could be a paintbrush and water, obviously a water brush, or a clear sparkle overlay if you got them in yesterday. But now what we can start to do is we can start to paint with them and colour with them. So we can go in to our image. So we can now, of course, go direct. I'm taking a little bit of that excess ink off. Then what I'm starting to do is I'm starting to pull all that colour out, Ben. Now look at this. So even when it dries, it'll be a bit more subtle, but you're still going to get that metallic look coming through even although we kind of watered it down with it being water-based. But it's just phenomenal that we can do that with the metallic pens, because there's not many that you can do that with. No, absolutely. Gorgeous effect and super versatile. Again, that's what I love about, you know, all of the pens and the pencils that we bring you. Uh, there's so many different techniques that you can pick up um, from using these. And actually, the other brilliant thing, of course, is, you know, um, hopefully you've seen lots of great demos and tips with Craig on this show, but there's loads of great shows um, on our YouTube channel, on Facebook. When it comes to colouring, if you search for the Colour Me Happy shows, chances are you will find specific shows which sort of, you know, feature metallic markers, which feature your tri-blends, which feature your classics. So again, if you're ever stuck for ideas, when you get these back, you can obviously re-reference those shows to just see how you can use them all and the things that you can do. Here we go. And then, as I say, you could then even just go direct onto your cardstock. So just colour this one in. But as I said, it will work best and show off the metallic look best onto darker cardstock, black or craft or navy. But it goes, goes to show how you can also use them as uh, kind of like a water brush in that as well. Fantastic. Uh, those are your antique elements, uh, metallic markers, all six you get for $5.99 or $8.47. Your uh, ancient bronze, aged copper, rose gold, tarnished silver, your vintage satin, and then you've got that gorgeous antique pearl included too. Basically, what I would say is get right across onto our website and check out all of the half price deals uh, that we've got for you there. Crafterscompanion.com.co.uk or .eu and snap up these deals whilst they are there because, as I say, they are not um, always here for you, these half price deals. So get them whilst you can. Um, we've got so much to come. Craft Vault with myself and Craig again a little bit later on, 7 o'clock UK time. But before that, we've got a launch day and a launch party. The small matter of the uh, launch here on Crafters TV of the Gemini Pro. <gasps> I'm really excited about that. As soon as we were chatting about that on the 8 to 10 preview show last month, I was like, I really need to be on that show. And I am. 
and then we've got the uh, jigsaw dies coming up for you too on the launch party a little bit later on and again they are phenomenal if you've ever wanted to take uh, you know photos of your friends photos of your family and turn them into sort of jigsaw projects for your craft um you know your crafty projects or just to make a jigsaw because you want to make a jigsaw to give to someone as a gift these are absolutely brilliant make sure you stay with us craig thank you so much i'll see you at seven yeah yeah you will do and just say because you're me seeing it on instagram it was originally meant to be sarah but it is me that's on tonight for the second craft vault so i'll see you then excellent stuff we'll see craig then i will see you in an hour's time for launch day the gemini pro is on the way make sure you're with us it's going to be very exciting see you in a bit bye